Lonnie Smith, but he won the ball. Duffy now. It's Mac Janna who tries to get across in. Lonnie. McMullen has it still. He takes a shot as well. Just wide. I think he took a nick on the way out, and it is a Derry City corner. Great play for Mark Conley in the build up. Yeah, he stepped into that fight zone really well. Wins the ball. Gets it out wide, then Derry end up getting the corner. Yeah, there's going to be Michael Duffy over it as well. For Derry. Great experience. It's ball in from Duffy that time. Manny Smith clears. Board has to get something on it. Oof. Here we go. Board could be away here, Shelbourne. It's three on two. 3 2. Board Caffrey Smith. Board still has it. Lean Board still with it. Evan Caffrey. Oh, he's offside. Offside. Ah, he could have finished anyways, but he's offside. And Lean Board probably just took too much time on it. And they'll be frustrated there, Shelbourne in particular. Lean Board. Great opportunity. But again, it comes from a corner kick for Derry. Mm. And you can see both teams, whenever they counter, they're a threat. Mm. You know, you, you look at the front three of Derry City and then with, with Shells as well. Yeah, not great from, from Bort in the end, but he's, as I said, he's been a man so far from Shells. He's coming in. Michael Duffy's over this free kick now for Derry City. And he clips it in. Derry out, bodies forward. Falls to the back post, boys. Hits it over the bar and I think they're looking for a, a corner kick. Our Derry, but they're not going to get it. I actually thought it took a deflection. Yeah. I thought that was a corner myself. I think it was Paddy Barry who got something on it, but he's very experienced as hell. Barry is, he's yeah. been around the block, he knows not to react. There's my out to Tariq Wilson. He keeps in with a header, but probably wouldn't. Don't want to give him too much space here. No. It's a shot on as well. And it's wide from Mullen. Hasn't really had a whole lot to do so far since so coming on. Positive from Duffy again, though. Mm. It's definitely a danger when he picks up them positions, he gets the ball, wants to get at people. Mm. Another so for Shells again. It's going to be Maddie Smith coming off. And on for him is John Martin. Take the strike on. Just watching McMullen on the edge of it, on his own there. Mm. Hatch and takes. Oh. <laughs> Janet. Patching. Michael Duffy now against JJ Loney gets it in on his rifle. It's a good cross as well. And Mullen takes out three quills on the back post. And That's that little area of the game where, where you've got Duffy holding the touch mm. line, wants to isolate 1v1 and then putting that delivery in. And you see the replay of it here. He does really well. He stands up JJ Loney, doesn't he? And I think that's the problem, isn't it? When he gets the ball in, there's no one there to really get on him. Yeah, and that's where you miss Lee's with Holman. Mm. I think both sides will be happy. Defense, from a defense point of view, they've limited each other to very little. Um, I think in that vein, it draws a fair result. Just that little bit of creativity in both mm. ends, isn't it? Lacking yeah. from both teams, but like you said, defensively, both very sound. Surprising as well, I think, given how, especially how Shells have started going forward. To not really create anything in the end. It's frustrating for them. Enjoyed it. Absolute pleasure. Really great to be back, Adam. Thank you. And Shells remain top of the league. With a draw here today in Tiger Park, as I said, in the lot. Thanks for joining us, and you'll hear from us again soon.